All right, thanks, Steve. Yeah, welcome and, and thanks for everybody's interest uh, as we continue on. Uh, return today marks the uh, successful completion of the Crew-9 mission and really with them handing over operations on board to Crew-10. Um, just some, some interesting uh, stats as we, uh, as we go through. Nick and Alexander both spent 171 days in space uh, on this trip, the arrival and departure of four different visiting vehicles to the ISS. Butch and Sutton spent 286 days in space and they got to see eight different visiting vehicles coming and going uh, from the ISS. We stay really busy as we talk about all these uh, vehicles coming and going uh, from, from the station. Uh, Nick and Butch each uh, conducted one spacewalk and Sonny conducted two. Um, that actually gave Sonny the record for most time on spacewalks by a woman and puts her fourth overall in terms of time outside uh, doing, uh, doing spacewalks. The crew, crew contributed to more than 150 unique experiments, like Joel said, um, including stem cell technology to potentially address blood diseases, autoimmune disorders, and cancers. They tested lighting systems to help maintain circadian rhythms, which will help improve conditions for not only future crews as you go through uh, spaceflight, but also those on the ground for shift workers and those in extreme or remote environments. They did plant growth and quality uh, experiments to support future Moon and Mars missions as we look forward with that. They loaded a really interesting experiment. JAXA had their first wooden satellite. They loaded that into and got that deployed uh, from the ISS. And then if, as part of their spacewalk, Butch and Sonny collected samples from the, from the station's exterior to study the survivability of microorganisms in the vacuum of space. I'll tell you, the Crew-9 crew did a great job here in the near term supporting this shortened handover period with Crew-10 and enabling that landing opportunity that we saw today. Uh, there was a lot of work that they did ahead of uh, Crew-10 arrival to get prepared and then really uh, working through all of the things that we need to do to hand over the emergency procedures to the crew, uh, to get the cargo transferred that they need to, and to get the, all the vehicles set up for Crew-10 to be very successful. Crew-10 is already working hard and uh, they're working on key science investigations on board. They already kicked them off uh, even while they were getting prepped for undocking uh, the other day. So coming up on ISS, we still have a lot going on. Uh, we have NG-21 release at the end of March, uh, providing, providing some important trash disposal for the space station. Um, always, you gotta get rid of all the stuff that you bring up, so you gotta bring that down somehow, and NG-21 is gonna take away a lot of that. And then we'll look forward to uh, Soyuz MS-27 launch Tuesday, April 8th from Baikonur Cosmodrome at about 12.47 a.m. Central. That'll be carrying NASA astronaut Johnny Kim and cosmonauts Sergei 